Today we are going to introduce two different modes of DTU. What about DTU? DTU data transfer unit. There are two different modes of DTU. E820 and E90. E820 two channel for analog converter from top to top. He have two signal inputs A1 and A2. In the middle have one reset button. When you when you push down, five seconds later, this motor will automatic reset. Down have this RS4A5 communication port. Notice you should remember the connection. And the last one down is the power supply. You can give power supply from these two ports. Here have three indicators. First one is power and the reset. Other one for transceive and the receive. Here is output port. Same, two sets. This is important. Here is two deep switches. You can control this two switch and change the mode. Here is antenna port. At the bottom, we can see that we can see the specification in the name plant. This is all of the EA20. Let's go to E90. In this side is RS232 communication port. Also here have 4A5 communication port. And down is power supply. But this one have a little bit different between EA20 because here have there are two inputs you can put in here. Which one is convenient for you? You can choose here and here. Here also have three indicator lamp. These are almost the antenna and the dip switch. Also, you can see the specification in the name plan. This is power adapter, communica communication cable, antenna cable, antenna cable, power adapter, communication cable. I will use minus screwdriver. Recheck the cable connection, power cable, communication cable, antenna cable. Now power is off. Other one, power cable, antenna cable, communication cable. All okay. Now I have to confirm the deep switch position. I will perform the parameter setting later on. I put both deep switches in up position. Now I start plugging. Indicator is light. Run the software for EA20. There are two languages, Chinese and English. Select correct port. Command 3 is for EA20 here. Open port. Search address. Make sure it is was it is working. Read parameter. Those information can be changed depending on your need. Write parameter. Change the deep switches to control acquisition mode. Plug off. 
across the software. E90. The most of steps are the same as E820. Every type of DTU have its exclusive debugging software. I prefer demonstrate the operation of E90 software. Choose the port. Open port. Get mid get parameter. Notice. You if you want to change the information here, you have to match the last one. That parameter. Change the deep switch mode. Close the software. Plug off. Parameter configuration completed. In other words, communication is done also. Let's start testing working status between E820 and E90. Plug in power. Now I will start test data acquisition status. Run this. Simulated software. E90 can obtain the input from E820. In other words, E90 can obtain the data from E820. If I want to read 10 million from E820, how to carry out? Choose the correct port for E90. Here's comma 8. Open port. There are two system scale. I will choose hexadecimal. Both. I will use signal generator to produce 10 mm to supply 10 mm to E820 first input code. Read command. Make sure this port already open. Send. This is transmission time. It's showing. It is working. The return command should be is close to 10,000. Anyway, we cannot receive the idea command. That means we cannot get 10 million exactly. Due to our signal generator is not precision in instrument. What about 12 million? I will send again. We can figure this figure this value. It's close to 12 million. This step is finished.